and good morning. Up nice and early, got some activities on the farms, and then be done early this morning. Little scallions here towards the end. Namaste. Namaste. We got some buffalo here. Yeah. But the milk, but I've never milked buffalo. Yeah. I've only seen like cows. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you get? Do you get like a whole? No, no, no. This is like uh, that one gives uh, two liter. Mm -hmm. This half liter. Right. First we make a butter, mm -hmm. and then uh, after we boil it, uh, it makes ghee. Right. She knows there's a stranger here. Yeah. Maybe that's why she's not comfortable. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it's not bad. It's like a liter. Yeah. A liter or so. <laughs> that is the system for this buffalo. Oh yeah? Yeah. The buffalo likes to... Yeah, this this buffalo don't want this. This uh, buffalo wants this. This buffalo always wants a taste. That's yes. why I was looking back all the time. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> the buffalo, he, she's always like looking back and, and he gave her a little squirt and she's like, okay. <laughs> she's okay now. She's just yeah. like chill. <laughs> Maybe one more. Maybe. <laughs> I thought she was like, Maybe one there you more. go. She's ready. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Okay, come back to mama. <laughs> you didn't leave anything. You got about... So we have to do the filter. Right, you got to filter and then we'll have to heat it up and pasteurize it. Yeah. Everything. Not going to drink it raw. <laughs> Good morning, morning, how are you? Good morning. Thank you. Is this is this Nepalese coffee? Yeah, Nepalese coffee. We made it here. So it's all from Nepal, roasted everything. Yes, yes. Nice. Hey, but I go here, here. You're not. You say you're not a coffee drinker. I must have influenced you this morning. You had to get coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Is this like from this valley? Yes, yes. Oh, perfect. So come, come out for the I will show you the tree. Okay, cool. We'll, we'll check the tree out later. Yeah. That's exciting. That's going to be the first time I've ever like seen the tree and tried the coffee. Mm. Okay, so we got the chapati here. Yeah. Omelette. Nice. Masala omelette, right? Yeah, masala. Ooh, chapati, chapati. Nepali. Up. Nepali style breakfast, good. Nepali. That's good. What's the difference between like a chapati and like a paratha? Paratha like stays flat. No, paratha is uh, first we cook the uh, potato. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, it's got the yeah, aloo inside. Yeah, yeah, aloo that's right. with the rotis. Yeah, that's right. Gotcha. Oh, I got some honey this here. Honey. This is y'all's honey too. Yes, yes, yes. Look at it. Mm. And ghee. Oh man, <laughs> became big breakfast fast. Uh, like uh, chickpeas. Chickpeas and aloo. Yeah. What do you call this one? Mm, it's uh, chana gravy. Chana gravy, okay. Yeah. We'll call it chana gravy with, with potato. Like uh, chola butter, I like chola butter. Okay. Chola butter. Okay, my hands are washed. Yeah. Roti Yeah, look at that. Mm. Steaming hot. Mm. It's amazing how fast they cook this up. That is absolutely delicious. The potato is disintegrated a little bit. So it's a nice, thick, runny gravy. And then you got all the different types of chickpeas in here. It's like chickpeas. It looks like there's actual peas in here. It's very delicious. Mm. 
The chapati is perfect. It's nice. It's whole grain. It's got that texture, but it's nice and light. So it goes with like a, a very rich gravy and the flavorful eggs. Mm. How I like to do it, like to make the egg layer and then dip. I mean, look at that. Look at all the stuff that's going on here. Look how hearty that is. How delicious, healthy. And there's just this like perfect, not even a touch of heat, it's just like a little kiss. Just enough to really wake you up in the morning, give you a reason to wake up and get going. I guess I'm gonna actually, gotta try, gotta try the homemade ghee mm. and honey. I guess I'm gonna do a little bit of both. Look at that. Look at that, this looks like an icing, it's so thick. Just to touch this honey. Ooh, this is gonna be so good. Ooh, the flavor of that honey is insane. It, it's just, it's a, it's kind of hard to explain it, but it's so flavorful just by itself. It's such a rich, deep, dark flavor, almost more like a molasses than a honey, which is interesting to me. I can't resist. Got to do one more ghee and honey. I mean, you can tell they're taking care of them bees because that's some good honey. If you got good honey, you know you got some happy bees. Well, I've been kind of craving a lazy morning. It looks like the weather's gonna give it to me. <laughs> one, of those, one of those days where you can just sit in and drink some masala milk tea all day. Oh no, storms. <laughs> Not the best timing to stay here, but Hopefully, one thing about the weather up here, it changes fast. So hopefully this will change fast and we'll get to do some more stuff on the farm like I wanted to. If not, you may be staying inside and just <laughs> chilling all day. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. morning, namaste. <laughs> we came to make butter. So I... Uh, the milk. Yeah. The milking this morning. Right. And this we the filter. Mm -hmm. He filtered it. Now he's cooked yeah. it. And we do we cook here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Is it boil? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we put in the. Oh, so then you put it in a clay pot. Yeah, clay pot. How long does it sit in the clay pot for? It's uh, one or two days. And it start. It's already fermented. Yeah, it's fermented. And this uh, became like uh, yogurt. Right. Now it's yogurt. Yeah? So some you'll eat for yogurt, and some you'll make into butter. No yogurt uh, is uh, sometimes we oh, eat yogurt, uh -huh. but normally we make a butter. Okay, make the butter. Yeah. If uh, you like to have a yogurt, uh, we we put in separate. Oh wow. The answer. And uh, now uh, we're gonna keep some yogurt for you. Oh, uh, for a test for uh, in a lunch. Okay. Okay. Thori ji, sorry. Hi, Thori. Yes, teacher. Are you in the ramble? Kelsey, it's already solidified up here. Are you in the ramble? Okay, Arko. Kailu thei, are you in the? That's why I wanted to show you this morning as well. Like it, it literally comes from right there. They bring it in here, they do the work, and now it's turned into this. And they're about to go another process and turn it into butter. And then they'll take it a step further and make it into ghee. Is each clay pot a day's worth? One day? Yeah, one day we put here. So one day for a clay pot though? Yeah, one or two days. One or two days. Yes. So it's like three days of work. So I'd probably do this twice a week. That one's really fermented. Mm. That almost looks like it's turned into curd, like it's cheese already. Oh, 
Mm, beauty of everything being precious too. Like add a little water, make sure you get every little bit. Don't want to waste anything. All the hard work. A little blessing before we go. And that's interesting, he's actually got this. You can pull it back and forth. Yep. This wooden box mm -hmm. because uh, it's uh, in our culture. Right. Uh, we cannot uh, put a um, feet in that part, you know. Right. Because uh, it's, uh, we have to put anyway. That's why first we pray. He prayed that part and mm -hmm. we put feet in. Uh, okay. Run water on top. Yeah. Kind of everything that comes out, pushing it back in there. And he's gonna need some water to help make that butter. Makes you wonder who the first person that ever made butter was, huh? Man, that is one big lussie. Yeah. It's a big lussie, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is ghee. Butter. This is butter. He, yeah. We got a lot more cooking to go to get the ghee. Yeah. <laughs> So here it is, there's that milk protein and that fat. I bet you he has some smooth hands after making butter. You know, he got all that fat on his hands, like a little moisturizer. And he's still got more in there, we gotta get another bowl. That is a big bite, that is a lot of butter. <laughs> That's a huge bite of butter, check it out. Oh, it's really nice. Since it's still in its butter stage, it's still got those milk proteins in there, right? So when you make ghee, you cook it at a slow temperature yeah. and you cook out those milk proteins. So ghee is like a preservation method. Cook out the milk proteins that never spoil. Mm. So the thing about butter is, it still has the milk proteins in there. It still has a lot of that flavor. Mm. I like the fermentation as well. Just a bit of tanginess. Right here. Uh -huh. This is also the same order. Today we cook, okay? Oh, today he's gonna to cook and make yeah. ghee. Okay, yeah. amazing. Make a ghee. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> Ants like it too. Extra protein. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You can't be allowed to see this again. Extra protein. Yeah. <laughs> and so here it goes. We'll slowly heat it, cook it for a while, and they'll strain it. Yeah, it rained a lot last night. But look, patience and we're blessed with a beautiful day. Not too sunny. Yeah. Not too cold. Right. Just right. So Timor, this is what I ate the other day. I, now we they actually have a plant, a tree. I don't know which you would call it, but on their land here. Come here. And uh, come, come. Yeah. Yeah. This is tea. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this it's is a, a Timor. It's, it's probably it's very, you know, this tiny. It's very tender. Right. And this is the Timor. Right. Yeah. Those are the berries. Yeah. And when will this be ready to harvest? Like yeah. another month? Yeah, this is the Timur. Okay, so what they do is, these are little berries, right? They're like peppercorns, like I should say, which is a berry, but they'll pick this when it's ready to harvest and dry it, and mm -hmm. they can crush it. Yes. What's funny is like... Wait, 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 wait. It's more, more smell if you do. Break it. Okay, smell it. What's funny, oh mm. my gosh. Yeah, this is Timur. You know, it's a cousin to the, like the Sichuan peppercorn? Yeah. But it's not as floral, but when it's like this, it's very floral. Yes. But when you dry it out, it's actually got like a, a little sour taste to it. Nice. Oh my gosh, that has a beautiful smell. <laughs> so mm. we harvest this and uh, we use uh, 
for the some pickles. Mm. How do you know when it's ready? Do the berries turn red like those? This uh, became red. Okay, so it's just mm. like black peppercorn. Yes. So like black peppercorn, it's green, but will turn red when it's ready to harvest. Yes. Okay. Maybe up to one month, it will be all ready. All right. You got some that are kind of peeking out here. Yeah, yeah. At least you can. Look, I'm turning kind of red. Oh man, that's so cool. That's, that's delicious. It's a thorny tree though, my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that, almost like a rose or something. So we have to be very careful when we pick up, mm -hmm. when we harvest. Oh, neat. I wish I had one of these. Okay. okay. Ship one to the USA for me. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now back down the hard part. You could just like hang this here for me, put a necklace and just smell it all day. They brought out their goats. Look at them. Yeah, goats. Hello, goats. Namaste. Hello, goats. Kajisan. Man, even all the way up here, you still have a Kajagar. <laughs> Kajagar. <laughs> oh, man. Kajagar. No matter, no matter how remote or how up the mountain, you can find a Kajagar <laughs> in Nepal. Yeah, you know, this uh, Kajagar, different uh, uh, kind of uh, dishes. D dishes means food, you know? Right. Like, uh, if you go in the city area, you can get a different kind of kaja, like uh, chela, chila, kachila, chura, mm -hmm. you know? Right. Uh, but uh, if you go to the higher place, so there's uh, almost junk food. Right. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean like... It's After hiking yesterday, I thought we were at the top. It just keeps going. <laughs> Never stops. Yeah, it's just... That's what sometimes... Y'all's, y'all's rice is so tall. I mean, like compared to what we get in like Vietnam, yeah, it's much taller here. Uh, short, shortest uh, right here. Right. Uh, we call this hybrid. Right. Uh, not local. This is uh, from the imported or making some crossing, you know. Mm-hmm. And that is the. Is uh hardest. is Nepalese rice closer to like a biryani or what type of rice is a Nepalese rice? A biryani rice. It is a biryani. Yes. Okay. This rice looks about ready though. It's just got to turn collar a little bit. You can see it ready to go. Look at them granules. They're about ready. It's a little green. You're right, about one more month. Yeah. Are you sure? Why do they put like the sticks in with the No, it's stick. This is a corn. Oh, it's a corn you've cut down already. It's a corn. So you cut... They harvest the corn and the cut, cut it. Oh, okay. So I guess corn and millet are like... Kind of like companion crops, so you can mix uh, mix farming, you know. Uh huh. They do the the they plant the corn first, right? And uh, middle of the the corn harvest time, uh, they plant it to the millet, right? And first they take out the corn, harvest the corn, and they wait for the one or one or one and a half month, and the millet will be ready. Right. It's because they use different nutrients in the soil. Yes. Right. So they grow well together. So corn and millet will grow better together. Oh, look at this valley right here. You can see. Namaste. Namaskar. My mother. Yes. Oh, they have lots of goats here. Yeah, all types of goats. Namaskar. Oh, you got lots of goats here. She's my mother. You know, my brother uh, doing the farming here, mm. and my brother have a uh, goat. Oh, look at these babies. Hello. Hello. You can take a bite if you want. That's good. <laughs> you really bit my finger. Here, I think this one has breakfast. Masala omelet, chapati. Does it taste good? Does it taste good? Okay, can I have back? Can I have back? Thank you. <laughs> you really did like my finger. Yeah, these are the words. Oh, here they are. No, no, no. So this uh, house I rent a bit. Mm -hmm. It is a uh, very old house in this place. Like 80 years old. Right. This house. So you put in all the wood? Yeah, th this time I renovate this. It's not. It's still not complete. So, uh, yeah, I have to. I have to put the bed here, 
and my father and mother will really stay here. Oh, very nice. Yeah. It looks good. Your, your woodwork, I'm impressed. Yeah. It looks good. Yeah. Everything's solid, everything's frame and flushed. Yes. It looks good. And, uh, in the ground here, still the clay. Clay. One more room here. Did they used to stay here before too? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. This is room. Oh, that's nice. I'm going to make one bedroom here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is all just natural clay, right? Yeah, that's a clay. Look at this, all the clay built for the wall and the floor and everything. This is concrete, but this part's all clay, local. Truly lucky to get to see something like this. Not only have its remains of its traditional, but also seeing how they're reusing it to make something new. Hello, what is your name? Tell me your name. <laughs> oh, you like them pets, don't you? Is that Milanchok down there? Uh, Milanchok down there, yeah. Oh man, so we hiked from there and came all the way up here. Came, yeah, just behind this. So that's what we did, hill, man. Yeah. You know, when I hiked it, I would have thought I went further than that. Yeah. When I look at that, I'm like, oh, it's very close. Very close. Very close. Such a cool home. Actually, his dad was born in this home, 83, 83 year old home. How cool is that? Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is ginger. Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Oh nice. Hard to tell when you don't pull it out with the ground. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this, this is, you can see here. This? Oh yeah, it's coming out. There it is. This is in there. Nice. Now almost harvesting time. Right. Yeah, after maybe 10, 15 days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's... Oh, I've never seen... There's a good little stalk right here. Look at that. Oh man, that's so cool. My house over here, and if the weather clear, back side, uh, very nice, nice view, Himalayas view, and front side, this uh, city, valley view. Right. And you can see the Pokhara, the over there Pokhara, this Hemlai Oh, village. even that's Pokhara back yes, there. Yes, yes. See, I knew that was Milanchok. Yeah, Milanchok is over there. Yeah. And we, we came this way, that way. Right, I didn't realize back up yeah. in there, that was Pokhara. Wow. Yes. This is a government school. Whoa, beautiful. <laughs> it's so funny. I mean, we were like, it felt very raw, and then, like, it's like, oh, it's cool. <laughs> hey, you know, I went to school on dirt roads, but I think they got an even more adventurous path to school than me. How many kids are in the school? Uh, 40. 40. Yes. From grade one to eight. I thought I went to a small school. I had 29 people in my class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now you're talking about the whole school's 40. Yeah. Namaste, namaste, namaste. Namaste. Oh, yeah, the office room here. Yeah. Star. star. This is like a teacher's room, right? Yeah, teacher. Yep. Say. Hello. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. Oh, it's almost like private tutoring. He gets like two people in a class. Says, I guess he got 40, one through eight. Got about like what? Five, six people each class. Top of the village. Got a school up here. I guess a little temple. Is this like a little praying temple here? Yeah. We made it. So, um, 
Like how much money would feed like for a school year for one person? One people, one student? Yeah. One student, uh, almost uh, they use uh, 500 rupees uh, per month. Per month, and they yeah. go to school. How many months do they go to school? Uh, the go, the total they go to the 11 months. 11 months, so yes. 55. Yes. For one student. Yeah. I, I study in this school. Oh, this is the school you study in, so yeah. that's pretty neat. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I think he said get back to class, yeah. get back to work. <laughs> yeah, look at this, how they come to school. It's pretty amazing view coming to school. What a different life. Just weaving it out. <laughs> People's land and farms and homes. Ooh, smelling good. Look at that. It's still not ready. Not quite there. Yeah. Okay, got back here, cleaned up a little bit. Um, Man, I'm really thinking about that school. So I went to a small school, not small like that, I guess in comparison, it's much larger, but you know, I went to a school that had 75% lunch rate, which means like the government had to support 75% of the, the school for lunch because I come from such a poor area. And sometimes, you know, I feel very lucky and fortunate. People are like, wow, you came from such a small area and now you're traveling the world. Well, you know, I'm very fortunate. I was born in the USA. I got a strong passport, a uh, family that helped support me, lots of things like that. But when you see a school like that in like Druga, his sons, one's in the Netherlands studying IT, one's in Australia studying food science, that's truly amazing to me. And so kind of hits a soft spot in my heart. and. Food's like my love language, right? So I think I decided I kind of want to try to, I'm not going to kind of want to try to, I'm going to support somebody in that school because the government funds people grades one through six, but seven and eight, they have to find a way to support themselves. So I think I'm going to, you know, take it on and put somebody through for a year. Now, the problem is they don't have like a way to donate or people are asking like, you're going to have to contact here and contact Druga personally because you'd have to send money directly to his account and then he would have to put it into the whole funds account. They don't have like a, a system or organization taking money for it. So it's really small, it's very local and it's kind of what I like. Ooh, cooking's going now. Look at that. Yeah, I'm also cooking here. Turn a little bit. Oh, I didn't even look over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even look at you, look at you. I'm making fried eggs. Look at, looking clarified. Looking good. There you go. Keep up the good work. <laughs> oh man, we got like an eclectic mixture here. We got French fries, fried rice, okra with the. I always want to say kombushi. It's not right. Katsubushi. Katsubushi. Uh, katsubushi. There we go. Which is the fish. It's been salted and dried out. Very flavorful. And some little veg here. And a lot of ketchup. So this is the final. Yeah, this the ghee. Oh man, we cooked it out a lot more. Yeah. So you see, it's already separated in there. Yeah. So. It has milk proteins at the bottom. Yeah. And we have to put it like this. Yeah. And we, we put only this clean. Mm -hmm. Clarified. Yeah. Look at the bottom. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste, Didi. Didi. Yeah. That's right. Namaste, Didi. Yeah. Bye. I love her work. She's like, yeah. she's really like looking finely, and yeah. it's not easy. Not easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We kicked out Durga. We said, man, you're out of here. It's just us left today. <laughs> nah, he had to back to Pokhara, so we're about to cook some dalbat tonight. Ooh, hot oil. Is this for making like a curry or the dal or part? Or? Okay, nice. So some fenugreek, the potatoes going, kind of frying up. Vegetable curry and dal soup. Okay, so I had the vegetable curry and the dal soup. And so. on, on, on target. 
Tomato. Tomato is pickles. Oh, very nice. Pickle tomatoes. Yeah. You get the rest now. <laughs> You've had a hard day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Made lots of food today. Mm -hmm. hmm. Are y'all eating dog bot too? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, we all eat. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. That's better. Okay, turmeric. This is coriander powder. Okay. Red chili salt. Also getting this on video so as I can go back home and I can make it myself. Stealing your recipe. Nepalese tea? Hmm? Nepalese no. tea? I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite Nepalese food? Nepalese dalbat. Dalbat, okay, it's gonna be a good night for you. <laughs> you good? <laughs> Nepal? Uh, are you eating dalbat too? Oh, you got some dal. <laughs> Simplified dalbat. Dalbat in a bowl. <laughs> Look, we got the milk we got this morning too. We've done everything with milk. Milk, ghee, yogurt. We've made it all. <laughs> that was really nice. I must say, I think I'm a fan of buffalo milk. I don't think I've had it much since I came to Nepal. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. The dal, you got the chicken curry. Ghee. Time to get the ghee. Got a whole bowl of ghee here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Lots of work. Uh, it's a pleasure to watch and a pleasure to get to eat. I hope y'all eat. We all eat? Yeah. Okay, good. They got different trays than me. They got true dalbat trays. <laughs> I got a plate. Right there. Perfect. And now we can kind of break this down and get it with whatever we want. If we want chicken curry, if we want dal, at the bot. I gotta wash my hands. Need to wash my hands. Look at the rice. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy <laughs> something. Hey, y'all are the ones that did all the work. You need more rice. Me, I just watch. <laughs> uh, so funny. Uh, ooh, got the doll. The black lentil dal, my favorite. You got a little sauce here, right here. This is the best. Ooh, super hot. Ooh, potato curry is delicious. Mmm. Come sit. Yeah. <laughs> Come with me. Come sit. Yeah. Oh, you have ghee? You can yeah, have yeah. some of mine too. Yeah. <laughs> and feel free, take some chicken curry if you want. What is mine is yours. <laughs> mm. I love that. The way that tomatoes reduce down with that clove, that, that cinnamon leaf. I've not had a chicken curry like that before, but I really enjoy it. It's something different. It's refreshing. Yeah, I'll need some more rice for sure. I got lots of doll. I'll come to you. Okay, I'm Okay, no problem. <laughs> I have legs, it's okay. You tomato tomato. I'm not yes, I'm one of the family, don't worry. Thank you, bye. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Now you enjoy, you go eat. Okay. Y'all work hard, you need to eat. I'm okay, just you eat. It's okay, you enjoy. <laughs> Too nice. Oh wow. No, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm not like him. He's going round two here. <laughs> round two. Take as much of the whole chicken curry and ghee as you need. <laughs> Man, Nepalese appetite. 
We got like round one, round two, <laughs> like round three over here, <laughs> round two. <laughs> Big appetites. Thank y'all so much. That was delicious. Man, very delicious dog bot, guys. Some chicken curry special. Very good. You want some chicken curry? We still got more. Uh, no, please, people. <laughs> you just tried to carry this down to my room for me. I was like, man, you're too nice. I got a lot to say, but I'm gonna sleep on it. I'll catch you in the morning. I'll finish this video off because I got a few things I want to summarize. And good morning now. I just want to say a big thank you to the staff here. The staff was amazing. I like how it's it's not too professional, you know, it's kind of laid back and it's just local people that work here. It's nice all the food is taken away from their little farm here. And it's just it's good vibes, hanging with them. They're all fun. They they make good communication, but it's not too much. It just feels like you're hanging out with some friends. Uh, really enjoyed my stay here. And I realized last night, back through here, and when you get the perfect night, this is the real reason you want to stay here. You don't have the clouds right there so you can see Everest. And last night with the moon shining off the snow-capped top of Everest was really one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. But I really just want to say thank you to everybody that works here. It was a lot of fun. I had a good time. But I wanted to give them something and I feel like they're such humble people they wouldn't accept it. So best trick, leave them a note. On your bad, die, bye. So thank you older and younger bros. Maybe here for them. Got a little something for them in there. That they can't refuse when I've already left the place and they find it. So that's gonna be it for this one. Go on the road, head to the airport and we're headed back to Kathmandu. So I'll catch you at the next one at the airport.